Hey, so today we're going to be talking about cybersecurity degree expectations versus reality. So I'm bringing this video out to you because I posted a recent video basically de detailing my cybersecurity education, my degree, and talking about whether it was worth it or not. And that really sparked a lot of questions within my community. So I'm gonna be taking this video today and taking this time to address some common expectations and then providing my context on the reality of those expectations. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So if you're new here, my name is Colin. I am a cybersecurity consultant and a recent graduate of a four-year cybersecurity degree program. So I think that I have some pretty fresh perspectives on some of these different areas that we're gonna be talking about today. So let's get into the first one of our expectations. So the first expectation that we're gonna be talking about today is that everybody who works in cybersecurity has to have a cybersecurity specific degree or even a computer science degree. And the reality of this is that that is not true. Um, people come from various different backgrounds to get into the cybersecurity field. They come into this at different stages in their life, so they could uh, potentially have a degree in a uh, completely different field, for example, say um, engineering, uh, say liberal arts, and they work their career, and then they identify that they want to move into this field, um, so they transition into that. And the, the main reality that I really want to point out uh, with this point is that if you have the skills to back it up, your degree, no, nobody considers your degree. So I'm gonna use security researchers for an example for this one. And I think that this is a great example because they come from all different backgrounds just like everybody in cybersecurity. And when a cybersecurity researcher puts out a new finding, for example, they find a vulnerability or they put out a new research paper or do anything like that, I can guarantee you that nobody is going on their LinkedIn profile or doing extensive research on them to figure out if they were in a cybersecurity or a computer science degree program. Everyone respects the skills and in the skills are really what matters with this, this field. So just dispelling this expectation, everybody doesn't have a cybersecurity or computer science degree in this field. So expectation number two is that you really have to be good at math and coding uh, to obtain a cybersecurity degree. That is not true at all. Cybersecurity degrees really do range, and a lot of them are getting more technical, but you do not have to go through extensive levels of calculus. Like you don't have to um, do like what an engineer would do and go through five levels of calculus and go through all of these different entry level uh, courses that are just weed out courses. There are really no weed out courses in cybersecurity just because of the fact that there is such a demand and the universities need to pump out as many people as possible. Obviously qualified candidates, but in engineering, it's a little bit different of a situation where they do have these weed out courses uh, because there's less of a demand for engineers than there are for cybersecurity uh, employees. So some math courses that you can expect to take within a cybersecurity program, maybe the basic entry level calculus, um, Definitely statistics. I had statistics and calculus in my program, but they never got into crazy levels like my like my peers and my roommates who were in engineering programs. So I never had to deal with anything like that. And then as far as coding goes, coding uh, in your cybersecurity degree program is not going to make or break you. Um, there are less technical routes. So for example, for my university at Penn State University, uh, there was a more technical route that had more coding, and then there was a less technical route that was focused more on uh, intelligence and um, anal an analysis and things like that. So you can really identify that route if, if coding and, and math focused and super technical areas are something you want to avoid. I know you're wondering it. Everyone asks this question, will a cybersecurity degree make me a hacker? No. For the most part, cybersecurity degrees are going to touch on offensive topics. These cybersecurity degrees are really going to be geared towards, towards more entry level uh, fundamentals and defensive just because that there are way more positions that are defensive based uh, within the field. So they want to get you ready for the actual workplace. And if they put everybody out who was an offensive hacker, we would basically be flooded. We would basically be flooding the market with hackers and we would be able to find all the vulnerabilities uh, or most of the vulnerabilities within our companies, but we wouldn't be able to uh, do a, a great tasks that the defensive side does like um, 24 by seven operations, like just monitoring the queues, monitoring the 
alerting platforms. We wouldn't be able to have engineering to actually remediate these, these issues that the, all of these offensive people would be finding and such like that. We wouldn't be able to create policies. So there's, there's obviously a much more of a need for defensive people in cybersecurity. That's why these programs, for the most part, are focused on the defensive side of things. Just as a side note to this, so offensive security is something that you learn um, after you have a good foundation in defensive security, actually. You'll find that really most people who are penetration testers, for example, um, they're not jumping right into this as their first position. If they are, they're very lucky. I guarantee you that they did a lot of outside work. They, they participated um, in some capture of flags, for example. They did internships um, and, and stuff like that. But for the most part, you're going to be exiting this program and going into more of a defensive role. And then if, you, if that's the path you want to choose, you can go into an offensive role. So just closing up this expectation, everybody within this program is not a hacker. The, the degree program for the most part is going to be defensive focus and it's really not going to be uh, preparing you for a penetration role, testing role. So that's something you have to incorporate on your own or um, that's something you have to kind of learn through certifications. Talking about certifications, our next expectation is that a college degree will fully exempt you from all certifications, and that is not a reality, I'm sorry. So basically, you're still gonna have to get certifications. Certifications are a great way for employers and recruiters to know that you have a foundational level of experience for a certain topic. It's much easier for them to just say that you, they require a certification on a job posting than a cybersecurity degree. Um, a cybersecurity degree obviously is necessary as well, but if they just see cybersecurity degree, cybersecurity degrees are so are so ranging um, in, the, in their different, in their different material that they cover that the recruiter really doesn't have a good idea of where you stand. So that's why these certifications are a really big point, um, especially when you layer them on top of a, a college degree. It's really powerful and it's definitely something that will get your resume read. One thing that I would add to this is that a college degree might actually take the place of a some of the more entry-level certifications. So if you were going the degree-less route, you would be more inclined to take certifications like the A+, like the Network+, Plus. but going in a college degree program, you, you can pretty much be guaranteed that the, the program will be at least covering these entry-level uh, concepts like the networking concepts, some basic IT concepts. So that is one benefit of the four-year degree and, and how it kind of relates to certifications. So tying this next expectation into a point that I mentioned in, in the last expectation that we were talking about is that college degree programs in cybersecurity, especially because it's such a new industry, they are not all the same. You can go to one college and get a completely different experience than if you go to a uh, accredited university with a certified uh, cybersecurity program that is like, for example, like the one that I went into at Penn State University was certified by the NSA. So going into that one, I had a little bit more understanding of kind of what I was going to be learning versus if you were going into a new brand new uh, cybersecurity program. So for example, you're the first class going through this program. You might not know what to expect. Um, so that's why I mentioned that in the last point that recruiters really don't know where you stand when they see this, this cybersecurity uh, degree. And I think that this is something that's gonna change within the next five to 10 years as degrees and programs start to pick up on this. And because obviously if you compare that to something like computer science, I think it's pretty, pretty uniform across universities. Obviously you're gonna have some universities that are stronger in their computer science programs with the rankings and such, but for example, um, I think that everybody who is graduating with a computer science degree is gonna go through data structures and algorithms. They're gonna go through these certain different levels of calculus. So that's kind of where we stand with our cybersecurity degree programs in comparison to computer science. Computer science is a lot more mature. Cybersecurity is really pretty brand new as far as degrees go. So I saved the best for last, and we're gonna be talking about money. So I know a lot of you have obviously been familiarized with, with the fact that Cybersecurity salaries are very high. Um, so a lot of cybersecurity employees are actually within the six figure range. And the, in, a common expectation might be that when you graduate from college that you're gonna immediately land yourself within a six figure job. And I'm not gonna say that the reality is that that's not possible. It's totally possible that you can graduate 
from a degree program and go right into a six figure salary. But I kind of just wanted to set the expectation that this is maybe um, only the top percentile of people from the best schools that are, that are getting this six figure salary right off the bat. And don't let that deter you though, because cybersecurity is an industry where you can just grow extremely quickly. So you might get into this first role and with a number, within a couple of years, a short number of years, maybe one, two, three years, uh, you could be finding this six figure salary very quickly. So don't let that deter you. I think that this is a extremely motivating factor because it really does show you that within the field of cybersecurity, you can really put in the work and your work gets recognized and you just rise through the ranks right away. There, there's really no politics within this industry. In cybersecurity, if you're doing the work and you're just a valuable asset to your team and you're just, you can move up through the ranks very quickly and find this six figure salary. So. Use that as some motivation to really just study hard and, and just totally focus on it, that if that's your goal. So that is it. We Today we covered six expectations and then the reality of those expectations for cybersecurity degrees. If you like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing and I will see you next week in our next video.